Now I want to discuss a nice uh, result on subgroups of GLN. So GLN with coefficient in C, the general in a subgroup of matrices, it's quite a large group. And in general, uh, for example, dealing with uh, normal subgroups, it not, might not be an easy task. But the simple thing is that uh, if a subgroup uh, contains the, the special linear group SLN, then it is automatically normal. So any subgroup of let me call G G and N with coefficient in C, which contains the special linear group. is normal. Now, the first thing here to notice is that, of course, uh, SLN C is itself normal. One way to see these uh, very quickly is to note that the determinant map from G, from all invertible matrices, to C star, the multiplicative group of a complex number under multiplication, so non-zero complex numbers, that sends, say, a matrix to its determinant. This is a, an homomorphism of groups, which uh, obviously follows by the Binet's uh, formula for the determinant, namely that to the product of two matrices is sent under this map into the product of their determinants. So, well, first of all, the, the determinant map is obviously uh, surjective. Because, for example, if we take the image of matrices of this form for any non-zero complex number, we get uh, all the uh, all of C star, and therefore what we have is by the by the isomorphism theorem or the or the fundamental theorem of, of homomorphism of groups we get that G, or let's write here G L M C, modulo the kernel of uh, this map, is isomorphic to C star. Now, of course, the kernel of the determinant map which is equal to the set of matrices with the determinant equal to 1 is precisely S, L, and C. And being equal to the kernel of a morphism of groups, we see that this group, S, L, and C, is normal. And in particular, we get that G, L, and C, this general linear group, quotient by S, L, and C is the so-called punctured complex, complex plane. So now we want to uh, attack our problem and uh, determine the, what are the normal, or what we can say about normal subgroups of uh, GLN. And to do this, I recall uh, the correspondence that we have discussed in the video about that I call the third isomorphism theorem of group, where we observe that in such a situation we have a correspondence, bijective correspondence between the subgroups of our group G containing uh, 
uh, in this case S and N C. And this is in one one correspondence between with the subgroups of the image of this map. So in this case of C star. Also, this uh, correspondence preserve normality. Therefore, it sends normal normal subgroup here into a normal subgroup here and vice versa. So, in our special case, of course, we observe that this uh, C star is an abelian group. So, every subgroup on this side uh, will be normal. And therefore, we get our statement and we can conclude that each subgroup of GLNC containing SLNC is normal. Well, of course, there are many, many subgroups in GLNC and not all, it's not the case that all normal subgroups are of this form. So, uh, for example, to sh just to mention that the vis vice versa is not true in general, uh, you can just consider the subgroup of uh, scalar matrices of the form Z times the identity, where Z is in C star. So, of course, this is a normal uh, subgroup of GLN, since all these matrices commute with any other matrix, but it doesn't contain SLNC. Moreover, a last observation is that this result uh, doesn't really have to do with the fact that we chose uh, C, the field of complex numbers, as uh, coefficients. Uh, this, of course, is also true for R, and you observe that we could have chosen any field F such that uh, uh, the, which, is, uh, which is commutative, so the, the multiplication group of non-zero elements is a commutative group 